he was in Abilene, Kansas, which was his hometown, to accept the nomination. He gave this speech to people. And the only thing people remember is this: is the light bouncing off his bald head, and, he, and it really looked unattractive. And of course, he then came back, I think, to Philadelphia to do a speech, and then all the powers that be, and you know, we were discussing this speech in in uh, Abilene, and somebody says, "Look, we got to get makeup on this guy. He just..." looks awful without makeup. Well, makeup at that time, television was pancake, you know, about three pounds worth of stuff, and he had this, you know, bald head, and somebody had to get him to do this. Well, that guy happened to be named Hugh Rogers, who was my boss and head of television production for BBDO. So Hugh went to the general, and he says, General, uh, we've been critiquing the speech and what you might say and the talking points and blah, blah, blah. He went on and that stuff. And he said, uh, uh, and we uh, think you need uh, <coughs> makeup. Well, Eisenhower erupted. Makeup, that's for fay fairies. And he had real barracks room language. And he carried on about he wasn't going to do makeup at all. But he finally decided, well, maybe he better have it. So they sat him down in this barber chair. A guy gets out of the thing, working on him, and patting him down. And Eisenhower, in his gruff voice, turned to this guy and he says, Now, are you in the Army? And the makeup man says, 101st Airborne, General. And we planted this guy. And he'd been in the 101st Airborne, which is Eisenhower's favorite outfit. That was the Bastogne, Battle of the Bulge, and the call up with nuts to the Germans, so forth. And Eisenhower took one look, shut his mouth, and that makeup guy went with him all over the country on the whole campaign. The worst part of all of that is that that campaign also was the first time that we invented the 30-second political commercial. And I, if there's anything in my life I regret, it's the 30-second political commercial. We did commercials, and so, I don't know, somebody in the commercial department, I, I, don't, I have no idea how, <laughs> but the, that's when it first began, much to my horror.